For the first time since mid-April, the turnstiles twirled at Chrysler's Jefferson North Assembly Plant in Detroit as workers returned to their jobs, greeted by plant manager Richard Owusu. Since they last built Jeep Grand Cherokees and Commanders, the new Chrysler Group LLC was created during the short bankruptcy process with new leadership from Italian automaker Fiat. For the 1,300 workers at Jefferson North, including Uwusu, that's cause for optimism. I tell you, today's a great day for us. Okay, it's been about 14 weeks now since we last ran production in our plant. And it's great seeing everybody. We got a great opportunity as a company, as a plant to really move forward. And we're just looking forward to it. I'm excited, really excited. But right now, we're grateful to walk back in the gates to build more Jeeps. We're confident that uh, we're going to pull through this. I can't do nothing but keep hope alive. That's all I can do. Just keep hope alive and pray. Well, my confidence is, is really good at this point. Um, this is a great opportunity for us. Uh, we've given, given a new lease on life, and we got to take advantage of that, and I think we're going to. And I think everybody sees that, and they're excited about being here. And my confidence level is extremely high. Workers also reported back Monday at the Toledo North Assembly Plant, which builds the Jeep Liberty and Dodge Nitro, and Belvedere Assembly, home of the Dodge Caliber and Jeep Patriot and Compass. Both plants have been down since mid-spring. With the introduction of Fiat's world-class manufacturing system aimed at improving quality and productivity, there's new confidence in Chrysler's future. This is our second lease on life. We've got no other opportunity by now. And with w uh, the WCM or world-class manufacturing, we've got no go but to go up. For Chrysler Communications, I'm Ed Garston reporting.